You can start taking the pill on the first day of your period. If you start taking the pill on the first day of your period, it will be effective immediately. Alternatively, you can start on day two, three, four or five, as long as you have a regular cycle that's longer than 23 days. That is 23 days from the start of one period to the start of the next. If you start on day two, three, four and five, the pill will also be effective immediately. As long as you know you're not pregnant, you can start the pill on any day of your menstrual cycle. So, if you haven't had unprotected sex since the first day of your last period, then start the pill any time, but in that situation you will need to use alternative method of contraception, such as condoms, for the first seven days that you're taking the pill, because it will not become effective for contraception until day seven of the packet. Once you've decided when to start taking the pill, you take the first pill from the pack marked on that day of the week. So if you start taking the pill on a Monday, you start with a pill marked Monday. You then take one pill every day at roughly the same time, all the way through the packet, which will last you for 21 days. At the end of the packet, you then have seven days without a pill. You start your next packet seven days later. You'll find that in the week that you don't take the pill, you will start to get a withdrawal bleed or period. During the pill-free week, when you're not taking the pill, you are still covered for contraception. If you forget to take your pill, and it's more than 24 hours late, that counts as a missed pill. If you miss one pill, you don't need to take any additional contraception. Just take the pill as soon as you remember it, take the next one on time, and keep on taking the pill. However, if you miss two or more pills, that will reduce your contraceptive effectiveness. In this situation, take the last pill that you missed as soon as you remember it, take the next one on time, and keep taking the pill. But you will need to use an additional method of contraception, such as condoms, for seven days after the missed pill. If you have unprotected sex during that time, you should consider using emergency contraception. The next thing to do is to count how many pills you have left in the packet. If you have more than seven pills left in the packet, continue to the end of the packet as usual, have your seven day break as usual, and start your new packet at the normal time. If, however, you have fewer than seven pills left, then Continue to the end of the packet, but don't have your seven day break. Go straight from one packet to the next. Continue to the end of that packet and then have your seven day break at the end of the second packet. If you vomit within two hours of taking the pill, you may not have absorbed it properly. In this situation, take it as soon as you feel well enough, take the next one on time, but count it as a missed pill and follow the missed pill rules. The same applies if you have severe diarrhea for more than 24 hours. Again, you may not have absorbed the pill properly. Each day that you have severe diarrhea, continue to take the pill, but count it as a missed pill and follow the missed pill rules. Women taking the combined pill have a slightly increased risk of blood clots in a vein. SH24 screens all women for their risk of blood clots or thrombosis prior to prescribing the combined pill. We do this through your medical history and your family history. Women are at slightly higher risk of a thrombosis or blood clot in a vein if they are very overweight, if they have had a thrombosis in the past, if a member of their family has had a thrombosis, if they are over 35 and they smoke, or if they have reduced mobility, for example, they're in a wheelchair or after an operation. However, we advise all women taking the combined oral contraceptive to be aware of the signs of a blood clot in the vein and to seek urgent medical advice if they experience any of the following.
always tell your healthcare provider that you're on the pill if they prescribe you medications, as some of these can reduce the effectiveness of the pill. Some herbal remedies can do the same thing, particularly those containing St John's wort.